All right, welcome along. My name's Bosch. This is Bosch's Ableton Beginner Bits. And today we're going to be taking a look at a plugin. Uh, just one plugin. It's going to be a pretty short video, I imagine, because this plugin's basic, but it has it changes the game, uh, for me anyway, in regards to being able to sample things and stuff like that. So I'd say it's going to be a quick one. Straight in, the first thing we always have to address is buymeacoffee.com forward slash Bosch Dubs. You can go there and you can support this channel. Any money that's received through buymeacoffee.com forward slash Bosch Dubs will be put back into the channel, uh, whether it means getting plugins, sample packs, things, just allowing me to sort of, just, just giving me something extra to put back in to be able to create these videos. So that is al always greatly appreciated, any input from there. But what is more important and what I appreciate the most, and it's completely free, is channel interaction. So if you can like the channel, subscribe, like the videos, comments, all that business, uh, I will get back to everyone. We don't have too many people commenting that I physically can't reply. So if you've got a question, if you've got a video request, anything like that, I am usually happy to help. <laughs> so I'll give that a go anytime. Just ask me a question and I'll see what I can do. Loads of the videos that I've done actually have been suggestions from people in the YouTube comments. So give it a try and I'll see what I can do. I've still got a list of some that I need to do. I'm just figuring out how to do them best. But anyway, let's get straight into this video. Now, this video is about a plugin called, let me just get it up. It's a VST3 one. It is by WX Audio. I'm going to put all the details up on the screen now. And it's called Web Sampler. Uh, it, it pretty much does exactly what it says in the tin. This device allows you to open a web browser inside Ableton, sample direct from a video, and then just drag it in. So watch this. I absolutely love this plugin. I will say it has not been endorsed. They have not endorsed me in any way. The only thing I've received is the plugin. Yeah, they gave me the plugin for free. But if you go on the website, it is £10, I believe. So it's not too much, really, for what it does. I... I'm absolutely loving it. So let me get it in there. Just drag this into a MIDI track. It comes through as a MIDI effect. And then straight away, we've brought up YouTube. It's not signed in or anything. You can sign in if you want, if you've got certain videos and if you've got a list of playlist videos you want to save. And I'm just going to do a quick walk around the program first, and then we will. I'll show you how it works. So the first thing, you've got your browser. You can type in any website in there. I tested it last night. You can type in any website and then any audio from that website will be recorded using this program. WX, that button just takes you to all their contact page and thing like that. We've got a couple of basic bookmarks in there. This is like a bookmark section. So we've got YouTube, SoundCloud already in there, and Twitch. You can add your own bookmark. If you've got a website you want to save that's got samples on, you can do that. We've got a library. This is where it saves all your samples, basically, so you can keep control of the library. You can, you're not just saving loads of samples all over your computer and losing track of them and then wondering why your computer's full. Uh, so you can, you can really keep a track of everything that's going on in there. All recordings. I think session recordings, I don't know what that's for. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what session recordings for. I wonder if that's for, like, if you've had a, a few things you've recorded, like, at a, s a certain amount of time. Like on one day, maybe it's like a day's recordings. I don't know what that button's for. What else we got? We got records. We've got the stop button and the play button easily enough. Resync. It says here it's got helpful sort of little pop-ups that come up as well. Resyncs the audio. Sometimes needed when outputting audio through the door. So sometimes it just means that your, your audio, because it's coming from an internet browser within Ableton and then da -da -da going through all that, it's sometimes th there can be a little bit of a, a delay on that. That sorts that out. Audio through system just means that your the, uh, the audio output is going through your computer's sound card or whichever sound card you choose, not the DA, not your DAW, not the DAW. And then record after sound plays basically means the system's going to wait. You're going to press record, but it's not going to start recording until it hears a sound. And I think that's it. The only other feature really is you can download the samples separately, although it saves them. Let's see what this is. Record de oh, you can record desktop apps as well. So you can, you know, draw in straight from whatever you've got open. I've got OBS open. And then settings, just basic setting things. Sample location. Try to stop web playback on recording stop. So it will try and like deactivate whatever video you're watching once you've stopped, you know, once you've stopped record, once you've pressed the record button to stop recording, sorry, should I say. Uh, distracted warning, what's this do? doesn't say what that is. 
doesn't say what that is, but I'm going to leave it on. Maybe that's if you've, uh, that might be if you've like, left it recorded and walked off or something. <clears throat> I don't know, though. Unused audio device, don't know what this is, don't know what that is. Web browser output device. So, yeah, they're pretty irrelevant. But the main thing is the fact that you can record samples from anywhere on the internet and then just drag them straight into Ableton. You don't have to save it and, you know, put it in a folder, go da 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 start messing around with it all. You can just do it straight up. So I'm just going to do... I'm going to type in World Clash. They're some of the best sound clashes. Let's go with this one. Good morning, people. Good morning. I'm being nice. I'm not in the war. <laughs> All right. Listen me. Yes, it So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to show you how this recording thing works. So let me pull this back to the start. All you need to do is press record and press play. Good morning, people. Good morning. I'm being nice. I'm not in the war. <laughs> Listen me. Yes. Okay, so I've stopped that. And you can see we've got this audio file here. Now, another thing you can do is you can carry on recording. So if I press play... Show me a selector. I mean, no, the war forgot. And it'll just carry on. Piece, a, a nice war tonight. No little ropes, ropes thing now go on in here. I mean, ain't no long talking on the man. Hear me? Who I sound them when you come? All right, so we do stop. Play. We can play back. Good morning, people. Good morning. Yeah, sounds good. And then before I do the final thing, which is the exporting, one more thing you can do with this is you can drag this little end bit. I'm pretty sure you could do it with the start as well. Yep. And you can already cut the audio sample inside here. All right, so I've cut this, and then watch this. This is the magic bit. Just put it to this side here. All I'm gonna do is highlight the mouse over this, click, drag, and voila. Oh, now I'm dragging it into a MIDI track there, so that's not gonna work. Let's try dragging it into a, an audio space. And there we go. One sample. It's been warped. Let's unwarp it. Good morning, people. Good morning. I'm being nice. I'm not in the war. <laughs> Listen. Yes, 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 yes. Let's put some yes, delay on there. Yes, 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 yes. And that's it. I mean, that's, that's, that is pretty much it. It goes as a MIDI instrument. It does show up as a MIDI instrument, so you can't drag it on as an audio effect. You have to use it in the MIDI channel, record what you want to record, and then drag it out to audio. But I think that's it. It's so good that you can cut it here as well. If you know you've recorded a bit and you, you know you're not going to want it in the audio file, just do that, cut, drag, and it's there. And if you look, it's even... So I, I was thinking for a bit, I thought, oh, what if you drag it out and all it's done is cut the loop of the audio down, but the rest of the audio is still in there? No, there's no audio. None of the rest of the audio, look, you can't go off the edge. That's all it is there. Okay, let's go on here. I'm going to go on the website. And this is it. So this is the website. And yeah, that's it. That's that's pretty much it. It's basic, but it it's so good for just being able to drag, st drag stuff in so quick, like on the fly. I feel like this is going to speed up your creative prog process. It's going to stop you getting caught mid-flow, like looking for a sample or something, you know what I mean? So go to wxaudioplugins.com and let's see what else they've got. Let's have a little web sampler. We've got another strata preview. What's that? Yeah, we don't know what this is. Nanny, what's this? An anime distortion plugin. Nice. <laughs> what is oh my god. I might have to get that just because it <laughs> looks mad. <laughs> um but yeah, this this company, listen, I, c I would recommend getting this web sampler because it's, it's ace. And that's it really, just a short one, the, the video this week. I'm going to do another video uh, in a couple of days to, to do another plugin. Uh, but because they're so short, I'm going to do a couple in a week. All right. All right, and that's it. That's it for this week. Uh, just a short one. I'm going to upload another plugin video in a couple of days, and then we'll be back to the normal production videos as of this time next week. So that was WX Audio Web Sampler. My name's Bosch. This has been Bosch's Ableton Beginner Bits, and I will see you next time. Ciao.